Okay, once you've got your drop down line complete, it's time to go to print, set up the border file, and then we can export it as a PDF and send it to the client as part of one of our weekly deliverables. So from this screen, we go file, print, we can go print options, details, and then browse. Now this is where you've got some border files. I've already saved a load of pre-complete border files on the server in the operations folder. If you click on operations, so go to the X drive, go to operations, programs and planning, Aster and borders. There's a lot of pre pre complete ones there. If you need to amend it for whatever reason, this is what you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to start with one that I've saved on my desktop for now. Okay, this is the predetermined border file. Let's say you wanted to change the logo on the top there. Select the logo. Press delete. Click on the new picture tab, mark where you want the new logo, and then find a logo. Again, I've saved all of the logos you're going to need on the server in the Aster Power Project folder in the logos or border files. Okay, so there's every there's a lot of logos there. If you want to save any more, just save them off of off of the Internet Explorer by right-clicking the logo once you found it and clicking Save As. So let's say we wanted to change the Kia logo to, for argument's sake, it's Robert McAlpine logo. We'll click Open. OK. And that drops that at the top there. If you want to change any text, you just change as you wish. making it bigger or smaller as you would do within any other sort of Microsoft package. So that's the basic border file. Again, you can amend that. You can you can you can put whatever information you want on there. Okay. So we're going to save that. Click save. Jump out of there. And then that's your border file selected. This is where you can change it to A3 landscape portrait you can make it bigger if you need to make it bigger you can take it up to a a1 a0 you can change the scaling of the program you notice that this program is set over two pages horizontally sorry two pages vertically so here in the horizontal section we've got it set to one and in the vertical section we've got it set to two which is probably the most readable with this amount of tasks on this particular program you can change that to three, and it, will, and it will increase that to three sheets, but two sheets is enough. You hit print right here. In output, we've got PDF selected, which is the first port of call, because we want to print it to PDF so we can send it. So we'll hit print. Select that. We're going to replace that. Last night printing to PDF. And then you've got a file that you can then send to the client for the report card with a nice red drop down line on with the logos on. Let's put that. 